good morning i am finally back out baby it's been a while i have been very busy at work and uh it's been kind of tough to get out on the water i got real sick so a little time i did get off work i've been just kind of re relaxing i've gotten a new computer that's a completely different os and i got completely different editing software so that's another reason why this video is probably going to be late and i've had a lot of good rock shows that we played at so just been real busy it's been tough to get out in the water conditions haven't been right since any time that i do have time to get out it's just it it's just doesn't work so today was finally a good day it was a little nippy out i'm in layers as you can see so it might warm up i think it's supposed to get like in the 70s so that'll be kind of nice but it's a beautiful morning other than that it's absolutely gorgeous pretty much trying to cash in on the last of the fall season fishing so probably gonna see some trout the water is 62 degrees it says i kind of got waist deep in it. it was pretty friggin cold but just to make sure i hopefully catch some fish i got some shrimp today i'm gonna try a whole lot of covering water and just doing everything to catch some fish today because like i said it's been a long time and i really i was almost about to not even film just because i was like i just want to go fishing but felt like it's been so long since i've done anything for the channel i figure i'd let y'all tag along if i don't catch anything then you know y'all can watch me uh just be a loser for a little while if not then you know enjoy the video but i'm gonna get going like i said it's a really pretty day out here today one of my homies gave me a turkey for Thanksgiving. So I would like to return the favor with some fresh fish. And uh, it's kind of our first stop right here is just this little, uh, I'll have to adjust that. This little dock, see if anything's hanging around. There's something. Oh, yeah. Pretty red right off the rip. That didn't take long. Put him down. First, oh, I forgot to change my camera again. I always get doofed up. First catch of the day. Decent red. He's probably about 13 inches. I can't see. Yeah, 16 actually. First catch. Always goes free. Starting to missed quite a bit. There's two different weather reports out right now. There's like one of them that says there's a 90% chance of rain, and there's another one that says there's not gonna be anything. So, you know, who knows? another red oh yeah oh yeah that's another red baby i hope this ain't the same one no this one's bigger i can already see where he's laying on my Slot. He's 17 inches. Woo. He hammered that hook. But it's another pretty red fish. And a nice blue tail. Good spot. Look at him. 
That's a good looking fish, man. I feel like two or three of fish that size will be good enough for fish dinner or two. There we go. Man, what a freaking spot. not even having to get away from the dock and you're on a hot bite like this man this is nice this one is uh 16 probably just keep three and call it after that As much as I'm enjoying this bait caster right now, I think I can do a little better with the popping cork. I don't like popping corks because I don't like tangles, and popping corks get tangled quite a bit. So I typically stay away from them but they're pretty ideal in situations like this right now there we go it's another nice red Another nice red fish. Beautiful tail, beautiful everything. Just a beautiful fish, man. This one's a little on the small side, so I'm gonna let her go. Ideally, it'd be nice if I can go in and get one more keeper. Chalk that up as I got fish for my friend. And then I can go explore and have that knocked out. As much as that, because I want to get out of this spot. I've been in the same spot for a minute, and it's literally just dock fishing and just slightly to the right. Um, I want to get out and move around, but man, it's tough to... Tough to get off a good spot like this right now. Don't go into the dock. This is a good one. Yeah, that's a fat one. I'll switch 
Mann, der... Get my good hand. Get my strong hand over here. So I gotta do some digging on you. There we go. That was a lot easier than your other one. Your friend it was a lot harder to get the hook out. Look at it. Another good eater. Another good 17 inch redfish. Got a little fish blood on everything. Sorry about that if you don't like seeing it. So, as much as I hate to leave a spot that's just loaded up with redfish, I'm gonna cruise and uh, see if I can go ahead and close out my slam. Okay, I have made it to the other side of the river. I don't have too much long before it's low tide coming up to game time, so probably not gonna stay out too much longer since the tide won't really be right where I want it and I'd rather go watch a I'd rather go watch the Jags play than sit around low tide waiting for something to happen. Although it's been a stellar day. Birds, skinny waters, looks good. If you will stand still, please, I will get this hook out of you. <laughs> Little live one. Little trout, little itty bitty baby trout. Look at him. He's small, but pretty. Little toofy. Let's see if you got any bigger brothers or sisters hanging out. I felt the smack of it, and I figured it was gonna be a trout. Maybe there's a school of them hanging out. That is one of the cooler things about trout. Ouch, you little, you little so-and-so. You little scratch and sniff. Um, Typically, when you catch one, there's some other ones hanging around, so maybe there's a school. If I can get my rod straight. Here we go. Oh man, just did slap him. Come here, come here, ye. Yeah. Shrimp even got away, how about that? Another little runt. That's fine. That's better than nothing. All right. To the docks. Scratch that itch. There's trout hanging out there. 
They're small though. I'm gonna go see if there's anything hanging around the docks and then I'm probably gonna call it. I had the schedule in my head, but you know, I just didn't really factor in on that schedule. Uh, like, you know, how long it takes to paddle somewhere. I was like, it's 11.30. I'll go fish the dock for like 30 minutes and be in my truck. It'll be about 12 o'clock. And it's uh, past 12 a good bit and I'm just now getting here. Oh yeah. That's... That's gotta be another red. Oh yeah. Little bit. That's another fat one. Look at it. in the sunshine. Pretty, pretty blue tail. This dock is just swarming with red fish. 16 inches, that's not bad. Not bad. Just cannot believe the best spot of the day is the freaking dock where it came in at. Could have just sat here all dang day. But what's the fun of that, you know? I like a little adventure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oof, that's a fat one too. Got some heft to it. Freaking tank. Mwah. Beautiful. Got a nice drum. Feel them grunting in my hands. How big are you now? That's another 16 inches. Golly. Beautiful fish. Man. So beautiful, so fun to catch. All right. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is a big one. Oh yeah. That's a big fat trout. That's what that is. Woo! Woo wee! <laughs> oh man, that's a big fat trout is what that is. Uh, yep, God almighty, look at that lunker. I was just kind of getting resituated. This dude hounded this thing. Oh, the way he was fighting, I thought he was a big old red. Golly, look at that trout. That is a fat friggin' trout. Let's stick them down here. 18 inches. All right, everybody, that's where I'm gonna call it. Not bad, not too shabby for my first day back out in forever. Jeez Louise, it's been so long. So day felt great. Using live shrimp almost feels like it's too easy sometimes, but I'm not gonna complain. I caught so many redfish and a decent amount of trout some runs but that big one was worth it at the end didn't get my fly under but that's all right if you like the video hit the like button please it'll help out a lot share it subscribe if you want to see the rest of my videos coming out i'm going to keep them coming as much as i can 
at the pace I can do it at. I, I'm very busy all the time, so it's very few and far between I get to finally make it out and fish. Also, if you like the hat, click the link down below and check out the shop, Keepers Only. They make a lot of sweet clothing. If you use my referral code that I have down below, it'll give you 15% off. That's a pretty friggin' sweet deal. So check them out. Go buy a hat, go buy a shirt, go buy some pants. I don't know, go buy something. I don't care. Thanks for watching.